Save us. Save us. Jesus has something very interesting. All right. After asking Peter, after asking the disciples, who do you say that I am? All right. He does this. He blesses Simon by Jonah. All right. But they give an assignment right. to Peter. No. Get this. Simon and Peter are the same people. Are the same person. They just represent two different stages of life. Simon represents life before being totally submitted to God. Whereas Peter represents life after submission.
When Adam we learn about who God is in the Old Testament right. and who Jesus is in the New Testament, uh -huh. it is always through revelation yes. and never through casual observation. Yes. Jesus says to Peter that flesh and blood could not have revealed this to you, but only my Father and I. In other words, stop letting people define you by what they have observed about you.
He renames Peter to help him understand that he is a part of something much greater than himself. In the Greek, the word of Peter, Petros, means stone or pebble. However, he says Peter, Petros, upon this rock, Petra, not Petros, meaning a great slab or the next rock. All right. And the name of the very man come, Petros means Peter and rock. What Jesus was letting Peter know was that, yes, I'm calling you Petros. In other words, a stone or a pebble. But I'm calling you that to let you know that I'm establishing you as a part of something that is much greater than yourself. All right. Peter was just a small stone or pebble who would be connected to the rock upon which the church would be established. Peter was not the rock. He was a part of the rock. And when you're facing the gates of hell, you must understand that you are a part of something greater than you. You must understand that you are connected to a plan that God has put into operation that expands, of course, Christendom and the invisible universal church. This is a plan that God has put into action since the beginning of time. In other words, you are a part of something that God has been orchestrating in the lives of every believer who ever has, who currently does, and ever will live. And God will not lead you somewhere just to be destroyed. But he has a purpose and a plan that you may not understand until you meet him face to face. So he helps Peter to understand he is a part of something great. But finally, if you want to survive the gates of hell, you must understand the foundation of your faith. When Jesus declared that upon this rock I shall build my church All right. and the gates of hell shall not prevail, All right. the rock that he was referring to was the confession of Peter's faith, which would set the foundations for the church that shall overcome the gates of hell. The reason that so many of us are being pummeled and tossed to and fro by the devil is that we don't understand the foundation of our faith. Because we don't understand and cannot articulate our foundation, we have nothing to stand on. So when the devil takes his best shot, we are not straight to the ground because we don't have a foundation. In order to overcome the gates of hell, we must dig back to understanding the foundations of our faith. The problem is, there is too much strange doctrine out there that is systematically destroying the church and causing us to fall as casualty of war to the gates of hell. Of our faith. We must get back to the Bible being the supreme and only authority for the practice of our faith. We must get back to the word of God that instructs us on repentance, holiness, and sanctification. We gotta get back to Jesus being the author and the finisher of our faith. We gotta get back to the priesthood of all believers. We gotta get back to Jesus being the only way to heaven. For no man shall lead to the Father, but through the Son. We gotta get back to the church being called out, separated, holy body of baptized believers. We gotta get back to salvation being more than just a get out of hell free card, but for being about true conversion, sanctification, and glorification. We gotta get back to Jesus Christ being the true, real, and living God. We gotta get back to believing in God, the Father Almighty.
not the leadership of the church. He is the head of the body. The church of Christ is to be dead. The firstborn born among the dead. So that in everything, he, not me, may have supremacy. Yes. All right. All right. We got to get back to have the name of Jesus. Yes. Every knee shall bow. Yes. And every tongue confess yes. that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. We got to get back to preaching Christ crucified and the power of the cross.